this type of problem, we have, it says type the missing numbers, okay? So here we have a number in word form, word form, all right? And we're going to type the digits, the numbers that go with each of these place values, okay? So it tells us that our number is 2,103,400. All right, so we're going to start over here, and it tells us that we have two million, two million, all right? So that one's pretty easy. We're going to put a two in the millions place. Right here, we type a two. Next, it says that we have 103,000, 103,000. Well, what that means is that we have one... 100,000, 100,000, okay? We need to put a 1 in the 100,000 place. So we're going to put a 1 there. <coughs> we also know that we have 3,000, 3,000. So we should put a 3 in a thousands place. Down here it says we have 460, 460. Okay, so I know I'm going to have 400. So the four goes in the hundreds place. And last, we have 60. Now, remember in English, we don't say things like six tens or seven tens. We say 60 or 70 or 80 or 90. We don't say eight tens or nine tens. So once we see that T, we know that this has to go in the tens place. So we have 60. So we put the six in the tens place. All right, now here, you'll notice we haven't put anything. That's because in this number, it didn't tell us that we had anything in the 10 thousands place, okay? And it also didn't tell us that we had anything in the ones place. For that reason, we, we haven't put any numbers yet, but we had to put something. So we have to think what number represents nothing. Well, that number is, of course, our very friendly and very round zero. So we put a zero right there because it, it didn't tell us that there were any numbers in there. Ooh, oh, why is it all blue? Okay, there we go. So we had 2,103,460. And that number has two millions, one group of 100,000, zero ten thousands, three groups of 1,000 or three thousands, four groups of 100 or four hundreds, six groups of tens, or sixty, and zero ones. Let's see if we're good. And, whoo-hoo, I am right.